Good morning, you beautiful people. This cat is usual location out in the woods, and uh, you know, got the old usual uh, cup of Darjeeling coffee on the go. This is just turned up pre made at home, as you do. Pre planning and prep, pre, pre planning and preparation prevents a urinated performance. How polite way was that of saying it? Right, so I've uh, come out, it's the day before Christmas Eve and uh, come out and meet up with Mac Tartwood and a couple of the other fellas, Alan, Dean. Um, so uh, stay tuned folks, all right? So um, I'm gonna stick my poncho up, it's a bit damp, very overcast at the moment. It was cold yesterday, minus three. I know to some countries that's probably just a, that's like your tropical sunshine conditions, but here in the UK that was obviously quite cold. Um, so, uh, but today it's a lot more milder, and um, but with that it's overcast and a bit misty. So, uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's set up the poncho. Now you normally find that at Christmas time, if you watch the telly very much, I mean, I don't watch it that often, but obviously when all the Christmas programs are on and things like that people like to do, they dance don't they and sing and everything else so I think what I might do just to sort of like because it's me I think as a bit of a you know adding to the sort of Christmas and dance value I might even do a bit of a dance routine while I'm putting up my poncho what do you think I mean I'm not going to wait for you to say no because I'm because obviously by the time this video goes up it would have been done and dusted so uh, yeah why not let's have a bit of a dance while we're putting the tarp at all not even a tarp it's my poncho <laughs> Do 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 Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. 
don't know the rest of the song or the words. Ah. Dooby doo, sha la la, my dolly, mama woo, dolly, oh dolly. It's just a quick thought, right? I don't watch horror films, but obviously there's always that classic line out the shining, here's Johnny. I wonder if they'd ever make a stage show of that. Huh. Well, as you can see, the poncho's up. No more dancing, folks. I'm all burnt out now, so uh, I'll have to, uh, we'll have to do the old obligatory. Let's get a brew on. Here's so cool, here's so fine, plays left back for Palestine. Has anybody seen my girl? See what I made when I was out in, out in the shed the other day. I didn't record it or anything. I don't know whether to or not. There's plenty of them out there, aren't there? Videos of different things. Basically, I used a tuna tin, a sweet corn tin, and then I had some um, fiberglass um, tape knocking around in my shed and basically what I've done was made myself up one of these little stoves, these little meth burners or fuel burners, whatever you want to call them, alcohol stoves and I did a brew in it in the shed and I will tell you what, I was proper impressed with that oh, I wish I'd come across this stuff about 30 years ago it cost me, it saved me a fortune wouldn't it in gear, that is so simple, such a brilliant just made from rubbish it's it's brilliant absolutely fantastic nothing like a bit of recycling so uh i'm going to use this as my stove of choice today cook my brunch and stuff like that on oh yeah if you've never seen one obviously i'm going to be lighting it up in a minute all right not entirely sure what the burn time is and all that but i'll just put an amount of meths in there not so much so i'll think it was a lock And once that absorbs obviously into the uh, into the fiberglass stuff, you just get this massive flaming. I'm just I just think it's a real good idea. I know I'm a bit slow on the uptake folks. Please humour me. Look and there it starts to burn on the outside. It's absolutely wonderful. And I'll put a put a couple of pictures up on Instagram and people saying oh they've been using them for a little while and all that. I was like well, I don't know where I am. I must be buried under a rock most of the time, I think. Yeah, it's still there. It's starting to catch now. Look at that. Superb. I don't know if it's worth doing a little video on it. I mean, just search them out, folks. You know what I mean? If if I get some comments and people want me to do a video on it, even if you get this far in after all me dancing and singing, then yeah, grand. And uh, I might do a little video on it. But, you know, it really is... You know, there's obviously a ton of other videos on there that will show you how to do one, so... Go and have a look. It's just something I've been wanting to do for a while. For a long time actually, just never got around to it. Absolutely wonderful. I just don't know where I've been, I swear. That is brilliant. Burn all over. Yeah, dig out the old poncho, eh? The old sit hammock. It's not a poncho, I've got a poncho. Sit hammock. I've had this one a few years really. I don't use it that much, if I'm brutally honest. I've been using it more as a more scarf, especially after all the anniversary and everything. So, uh, where the ground's really damp and everything else, I thought, uh, why not utilise it, eh? I always keep the slings as well, the whoopee slings in the kit as well. And then obviously the scar uh, the, the hammock itself's there if I want to use it as a, um, if I want to use it as a scarf, but then obviously I can use it as a blanket you know, uh, dow spread or um, or all these four as a hammock or even a shelf to put the gear in, keep it off the ground. So uh, yeah, that's a bit more luxuriating, isn't it? For a change, why not? Even though it's even though it's outside the poncho because I had to take advantage of two, these two trees that are here. But other than that, who cares, eh? Just gonna luxuriate myself. Oh, it's hard to get that Darjeeling coffee on, eh? Well, the lads have turned up now. Yeah, Al, 
Mac and Dave sure turned up as well. There's Mac doing his salute over the background. There's little Baldrick on obviously looking at food. So yeah, we're just talking about Yuko lids at the moment. Uh, the Yuko Crusader lids. You know what, I can't gauge a time on that. But that has been going for a good sort of 10-15 minutes now. Easy. I think it's more economical than using a transier. Uh, filming of your... Uh, Pack a bit of kit, that, isn't it? Yeah, the original wood stove, mate. Is that what they call it? Yeah, that's what it is there, sir. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, it splits down. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And Dave's titanium kettle by uh, Boundless Voyage. They're up and coming, Boundless Voyage. Oh, like oh yeah, yeah, big stuff. From my own observations, I think that um, when you're collecting the pine resin, I mean, I could be wrong, but I sort of think it's better to collect it during the, the sort of, not it's better, but it's a little bit more easier to identify um, the dry chunks of the uh, resin than trying to get it in the summer. I don't know if that's right, but that's sort of like what I'm getting at the moment. Um, I didn't have nothing to put it in, so what I used was one of these, um, you know, the little um, containers that I used, you know, that I used um, to keep my cotton wool and Vaseline in. So I've squashed, packed a load of it into here. I'm still having a little wander around because there's plenty of pine in here and just looking for any scars of any resin on it. And then obviously I'll just collect it in this little uh, receptacle.
Right, if you're after a good little bargain, right, now you've got all these torches, there's a million one torches out there, you know what I mean, and you can pay anything from a pound to fucking a thousand, oh, excuse me, a thousand pound, um, but um, Mac has got a lovely little torch that um, it's going to show you, and I think I'm probably going get, to get, get one myself. Right, ladies and gents, um, it's more pilot. I was, um, so I was just looking at, uh, on a, I, I, Obviously, moved about on a uh, motorbike, so I was looking one. I've got a D ring, and it just clips on there. So I was looking. That's how I came about these, anyway. Um, <coughs> absolutely brilliant little bits of kit. That's why right, it's just Bob uh, Baldrick down there, because um, I, I love the actual um, thing where you've got the option of USB charging it, uh, and or you can change your battery, so it gives you many options on that, ladies and gents, that's one thing I liked about it, and it's USB rechargeable, now initially, this is proper quality like, but the price um, is, you unscrew that, and right behind the O-ring and that, is the USB charging point, charging point there, um, and it's got the usual cycle, bright, not so bright, dim like me and uh, uh, the two lots of uh, you know, SOS or whatever um, when you put it on ladies and gents now you see that that's brilliant because normally that light is green okay and as you can see there it's just coming on this is one of the few head torches I know normally when you've got them they just go especially with the new LED lights but now that's red so that's telling me I need to charge that up or change the battery and a lot of other head torches I've had just go boof you know, I don't even go dim, especially with the LEDs. But yeah, so normally that's green, uh, and that'll go red when you need to charge it up. Yeah. Right, ladies and gents, just so you can have a look at the box. That's how it came. So that was the first thing that impressed me. Um, second thing that impressed me was you get two. Now, on a, I'll pull this one off. It can come off. My original one in here. There's um, clips, pocket clips. I'm not really um and a lot of pen clips sort of thing. pen clip yeah that's yeah. it mate yeah and it goes on there and on my biker jacket i just have it on the, a little clip there so when i'm off on one i've got you know and it's a booming light getting in and out of my garage it'll light up the whole garage and so forth so that's that's where the other one is now i've had this well over a year proper over a year um recharge of one as a man but i use it like twice a day every day that i'm working and when i'm taking the dogs out and so forth so i've given this some i've just bought this yesterday uh, wrong to do a um, bit of a, um, a thing on that a review on that but it comes with even you've got the headband nice and comfortable wide this one will go over the top of your skull if you're doing that and uh is it, you might notice that there's there's two in here so you get two in the box okay um there's that there's that one and you've got the usb chargers 
and there's uh, little attachment points, you know, probably to a bike or something. I don't even know what these are for. Uh, and more in here. So you're certain you're talking quality, and this is something I like. You know, the O rings, ladies and gents, there's several in there. What well, you know, boom, what, 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 what more do you want? And so let your eyes be your guide on this. Um, I'm going to do a little shout out because at the weekend people are like, oh, that's mm. nice. Yeah, so that's yeah, good price. Yeah. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, that there, okay, um, I can't see anything wrong with it. There's some experienced outdoors people here that have had a look at it because, again, there's, that's what I meant. See, when it? Yeah, the green line. Yeah, and it will, when I put it on last time, it needs a charge up because that will go red. Very nice bit of a feature on that. I'll like say you change the battery or just the USB charge it. Um, but ladies and gents, leave eyes me, you guide. Uh, no skin off my nose, but these, 30 quid for two, all right? 30 quid for two. Yeah, that's and good, isn't it? Let you, you know, that's, what's, what more do you need? Uh, as David pointed out, 1,200 lumen. I'm not too worried about that. I don't want to light up the weld. You get two in there, USB rechargeable. Uh, yeah, M-O-R-P, pilot, yeah? Pilot, yeah. yeah. Um, Bush, what more do you need? Um, Bosch, it's got five modes. It's 500 meters. There is a bit of uh, magnetic on it if you wanted to stand there. So, ladies and gents, seriously, because people always kind of miss this, don't have it anywhere in there, a compass. All right, there's, you know, you know the score on that as well. It will pull your compass right off. Uh, that's a Leon battery, and it's waterproof. No, and I've had that on the bike well, with me. It's a rechargeable me. lithium battery in there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, ladies and gents, let your eyes be your guide. Seriously, I do mean that. But, you know, they're 15 quid each. That's not even a large feature, is it? And I've had one day in, day out, you know, using it twice a day. I've never had a problem with it. Um, and, you know, at the weekend, it was proper lighting mm. up the world, wasn't it? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But again, you just press it again and it's, it's smaller and smaller. Uh, but, yeah, um, that comes in there, ladies and gents, and there's two. I just think, blimey, um, why are other firms charging, you know what I mean, mortgage money? You're smiling here, Des. We're not going to mention O-Line, right? <laughs> don't yeah. mention o No, there you go. Well, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, because old type wood, so I've, um, I've only sort of brought it out because a lot of people have been asking about it. So there you go, ladies and gents. Yeah, you can't see it on the you know he's making a wax poncho, isn't he? Yeah, a wall, wax on the outside, canvas, and wall on the inside. Yeah, yeah. But I think you can see, like, I'm not interested in it, but I can make it all these. Is it a time to find it? But you're going to be a little too long. What's this got any? Yeah, he'll have these other bits. 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 He'll have these Yeah, it's 
see you, but it's a piece of jacket. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's all. 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 That's